Hey, how's it going everybody and welcome back to another video with the Roshank Remshin. Today I'm doing something that I haven't done on my channel in a very long time and that is a live commentary gameplay session now with me just playing some Skyrim here. And I'm actually going to be doing a challenge uh, in this challenge I'm going to be trying to take on 10 ancient dragons uh, at once. Um, and pretty much the purpose of this video is to show off the Illusionist build which is a Skyrim build that I recently did on my channel. Uh, and just to give a brief explanation of what exactly this build is, it's basically a character that uses Illusion in combination with very powerful sneak attacks to, uh, to kill enemies. Um, but there's another aspect of his character outside the main aspect, which is of course uh, sneak attacks, uh, that to me is very interesting and is my personal favorite part of the character. And that aspect is magic resistance. Uh, this character attains a near 100% magic resistance uh, through various um, exploits, or not ex exploits is the wrong word, uh, through various methods. And it's actually not that difficult to do. I'll leave a link uh, in the description to the video uh, describing the illusionist build and everything you need to do to make this character. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to be showing off in this video. Um, having really high magic resistance makes taking on dragons and other magic users much easier. So I'm going to try and leverage that and take on a ton of ancient dragons uh, at once. Um, and a couple of, uh, I guess, parameters for this challenge. First of all, I'm going to be playing on Adept difficulty. So let me go and show that to you guys. Um, and the only reason why I'm not playing on Master is just because... I mean, this character has near 100% magic resistance, but it isn't exactly 100. I believe the exact number is 97.5. And playing on Master while taking out a ton of ancient dragons, and if they do hit me with their with their claws and with their you know with their jaws, then uh, I mean my character can't take physical attacks all that well. Is what I, I guess what I'm trying to say. So I'm concerned about that. And on top of that, the second parameter of this challenge is that I'm not going to be using any form of healing, no restoration, no potions, none of that. Uh, and I think that at adept difficulty is going to be hard enough, which is my reasoning for playing at Adept Difficulty. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and look up the uh, code to spawn in Ancient Dragons, and then I'm going to go ahead and console command in 10, and then I'll see you guys in one second. I actually went ahead and moved away from Dawnstar because I really do not enjoy fighting dragons in cities. It's just like the most tedious thing ever when there are a ton of people running around and you have to deal with a dragon. Uh, so let's go ahead and console command all 10 of these dragons in and hopefully this does not crash my game, although I have my doubts. It might take a couple of attempts here. Nope, looks like we got it. And my god, that is a lot of dragons. Um, Okay, I think, like, the best way of going about this is to try and isolate a few, and, like, oh, I think one might have landed, like, right above me. Oh, right there, okay. Uh, okay. I gotta stop talking to and actually take on these dragons. Um, the commentary might be kind of bad, and the reason for that is I'm gonna try and focus, of course, while, while doing this. Um, and I'm not very good at multitasking, despite being a YouTuber. Uh, okay, let's actually just run under here. This is very convenient. This is another thing I hate about dragons. I can never see while fighting them. It's just the most frustrating thing ever. You're coming right back down, buddy. Uh, this is going to be really tedious to start off. Okay, well, we got it with a hit there, which is nice. That is... I, I'm actually okay with that because it's going away from the others, so I can kind of isolate it here, which is nice. Uh, but they're... looks like they're all coming to attack me now. It's not great. Oh, he's a lot closer than I thought. Uh, this will be number two here. Perfect. Um, I am a little bit lower on health than I would like, though, to be honest. So we're going to come back here and, and hide. Oh, he's going to land. Perfect. Uh, yeah, I mean, I am kind of low on health, which isn't great. I'm also low on stamina, which means aiming is going to be annoying. Uh, but it looks like I staggered in there. Um, I think that was a stagger. I, can, can you stagger dragons? I'm pretty sure some any enemies are immune to that. Or, no, no, enemies are immune to paralysis, not stagger. Nonetheless, um, that dragon is down. And also these dragons are just like not staying still, which I suppose is not something I should really expect of dragons, but we're going to try and dragon rend from all the way over here. Uh, <laughs> but the occultist re resisted dragon rend. That's kind of funny. Um, all right, well, it would be nice if we could... Oh, he landed right behind me, didn't he? Shoot. I have to fight two at once. This is not good. Um, we're going to focus our firepower on this one for now. Hopefully take it down. And then, where are you? Right over there. Okay. If we could get both of these two out of the way, that would be awesome. Uh, shoot. Um, I also really want to make sure I don't get into any close-range fights with these dragons because I can take magic hits, but my character isn't quite as good at taking physical hits. Why? Why is it going all the way over there? I'm gonna have to chase it. 
I have four down. There's two over there? Okay. I guess it's not all bad because I'll be able to isolate them like I was talking about before, but it is just rather tedious. Uh, ooh, this one's flying back. Hopefully the other one circles back around as well. There's like a skeever or something. Yeah, what the hell? Get the hell out of here. What do you think? What do you think you're doing? Uh, oh, perfect. Perfect. I guess I don't really need to aim right now. I just want to make sure I actually hit my shots because I already have bad aim. Um, so that's just like guaranteeing that I don't miss. Okay, that is five down, I believe. Um, and we will... I guess we won't drag around that one. We did get in a couple of good shots on it, though, which is nice. Uh, please land. Nope, you're not gonna land, but we are going to drag around. Uh, ooh. Oh, we got it. It's perfect. Usually, I feel like those shots don't register for me whenever I, like, try to hit it while it's moving or if I hit it in the tail. Um, the hit detection on Dragon can be kind of bad. That and my aim sucks. Like, let's be real. It's not just the hit detection. Um, okay, that is six down, I believe. Uh, they're all, they all seem to be clustering over here now, which I am okay with, honestly. Uh, this terrain is like, it's kind of rocky and there's, there's places to hide, but it's not overly, it's not, it's not overly annoying, like fighting in a city, because there's just like a ton of things to deal with in a city, um, which we really don't have here. Uh, oh, we've almost got this one. That is really frustrating, but I think he's going to land, and you are about to die, my friend. That is seven. I think that's seven. Um, I also haven't really been good, doing a good job keeping track or, or counting. <laughs> oh, he's going to land, too. This will hopefully be eight. I think this is eight. Um, I'll have a counter. Uh, I'll put a counter in uh, during editing, and hopefully that'll help you guys to know where I'm at. I, can't, I literally cannot see anything. I hate that. That is actually the hardest part about fighting dragons. You just can't see anything when fighting them. Okay. Um, and I, is that, is that red dot that I'm moving towards right now, is that a dragon or is that a different enemy? I have a feeling it might be a different enemy. Uh, I don't think we, where am I being? You freaking saber, get the hell out of here. Uh, oh, right, yeah, right over here. I think, oh no, he took off. I, I legitimately like have no idea what's going on right now. I just like cannot see it all. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I mean, fighting these things one-on-one -on -one is a walk in the park for my character, honestly. Uh, that's kind of cocky to say. I mean, walk in the park is an exaggeration, but it's it's significantly easier than fighting, like, ten at once. I mean, that much should be obvious, I suppose. Uh, the question is, is this red dot on my radar a dragon, or is that a different enemy? Because I think I have nine. I've taken down nine, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully I didn't miscount that. Yeah, I think that is the last one. <laughs> the last dragon just like flew off all the way over here. That is a really beautiful night sky. Um, credits to the guy who made this night sky mod, or not this night sky, it's actually a couple of mods. Um, but the people who made these night sky mods are just, they're just unbelievable. Um, I'll leave a link to those in the description. But let's go ahead and finish off this last dragon here. Alright, I think, <laughs> it's kind of funny that I don't know how many I've killed, but I believe that is number 10. Uh, and I suppose we can also take down these people. They're going to go down so easily. It's not even going to be funny. Um, actually, let me go ahead and turn up my difficulty here just, just because. Uh, we'll turn this up to Master. It'd be really sad if I died here, which I, I don't think is actually going to happen. Uh, dang it, I can't see because of the Dragon Soul. Uh, I, I genuinely just like cannot see. Hello? Okay, well, he died in one hit when I actually hit him. Uh... Whoa, oh, over there. How do they get around me? I'm a very oblivious person, as I'm sure you guys can tell. Uh, and you're about to die too. Wow, even on like Master, these bandits are just like <laughs> complete scrubs. Alright guys, well that is pretty much going to do it for this video. As always, if you enjoyed, be sure to drop me a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more videos like this in the future. I'd also love to hear your feedback in general uh, on what I did here. I feel like it did get a little bit tedious at times, and if you guys didn't like this, then please do let me know in the comments and I'll try to do different challenges in the future. Um, but if you did like it, if you did enjoy it, if you want to see more videos like this, then by all means let me know. I'll try try to um, get more videos like this out. I do think the challenges in general is like not a bad idea, and I enjoy doing live comments so if you enjoy them too, I'm happy to bring you more. I'll be out guys. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video